Hello everybody. Today we're going to assemble the center section of the fuselage. I've added the seat ribs to the bulkhead and I'm now attaching the bottom skin. It's sometimes hard to find a suitable position of attaching stuff. So I'm now attaching the main bulkhead, the bulkhead where the wings will be attached to. And uh, I have to find some wood to lift the construction so it won't sit on the clecos. Now I'm attaching the ribs to the bulkhead and I need to detach the first part, so the, the front part of the main bulkhead. So I can access the holes that I need to drill in order to fasten the um, the ribs to the bulkhead. So the center section is where the seats are. The seats are between those two bulkheads, you could say. And uh, we have to attach the bulkheads to the ribs and to the skin in order that we can drill it and later can buck everything, rivet everything. Now I have to drill all the holes. Those holes are already pre-drilled, I just have to, let's say, match drill them again. Turns out that uh, I also needed to countersink uh, some holes in the main bulkhead. I do that now. I think I should have done it earlier. Yeah, I only noticed it this time. Uh, those are the holes that are countersunk to which rivet the top side of the bulkhead to the ribs. As you can see I use um, some wooden parts to lift the construction from the table. In the back you can see the, the tail cone which is uh, already quite far. Now I have to attach the bulkhead to it again. First the aft side. And I'm do some spot priming. Uh, I mean where I just countersunk these holes. I have to prime it. I do it with a cotton tip. That works very good. Now I have to attach the nuts and bolts because the top hole and the bottom hole of the ribs are fastened with nuts and bolts the rest are fastened with rivets again we have to take a torque wrench to set all the nuts and bolts to the right torque you shouldn't overstress them. Okay, now I'm riveting the top rivets that attach the the flange, the top flange of the bulkhead to the ribs. And I'm again checking if all the um, nuts and bolts are in the right torque. Then I do the last, the outside rib, which is a little bit harder. Uh, the outside rib, the, the 715L and the R, as you can see, is um, needs to be attached in a special way. So now we do the baggage ribs. As you can see, I already, I said it earlier, I already put the nut plates to it, which is wrong actually. So that's not good. I have to uh, drill them out again later. I, at this point in time, I didn't know I was, I was, I did it wrong. I just thought, hey, that's easy. I just add all the nut plates in there. 
but actually it's wrong because these nut plates go through the rib and through the um, the plates, the baggage plates. So I made a mistake there. These are the side ribs. Um, you need some modifications to that and mostly you need some extra straps to attach them. So that was a lot of work. As you can see it works great, but it takes a lot of time to make it uh, fit well. I use the squeezer to dimple the parts. Okay, so that's the other side rib. Now I'm looking at the plates. So those are the uh, well, the floor plates actually. Uh, I didn't I didn't check the order in which I should attach the plates. So uh, that's wrong. But it was just the first fit anyway. And also, as you can see, they need to be primed. Yeah. Now I figure out. Oh, it needs a different order. That one should go under it as you can see also as you can see I don't have all the seat belt straps already placed so that also need to be done those are the baggage floor plates and probably by now I found out that hey why are there nut plates holes in there So then, turns out I made a mistake. Maybe I didn't figure it out yet. Alright, next time continuing building my pie in the sky.